This podcast is with Alexander Clifford, a Finnish musician and music producer, recorded 29 May 2021. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel for more great content. I'm the only English-speaking podcaster in Finland. There are three narratives in this interview. First, the English. Even though Alexander isn't a native speaker, his grammar, pronunciation, and self-confidence are exactly on point. He's articulate and convincing. You trust him instantly. Second, the Finnish music industry. Alexander gives some great advice for those who want to be a musician, in Finland. Third, sound business advice. As he's now a full-time music producer, Alexander is making his way through the Finnish music industry as an entrepreneur, building his brand on quality and superior customer service. His business advice can apply to any industry. When I was 18, I wasn't um, ready to go through all that crap because I didn't see a future for the band anymore after being in it for four years. I just didn't see it going anywhere. So um, about two months before I left the band, I had um, gotten my first MacBook. And what I wanted to do with it first was to record covers for a band, some acoustic covers and put it on YouTube and just kind of do a little editing on the audio so that we would you know, sound okay. And and I did that and then I bought all the programs that were required to do that and then we were already doing pretty bad at this point so um so I just started adding I mean, the dynamic wasn't going so yeah well. it wasn't okay. going so well so we were just doing these little um, acoustic covers and thing and I and I was recording them with the new MacBook and I was kind of you know editing doing some some form of mis uh, mixing on on the uh, audio that we recorded and then while I was doing that I I realized that I really like this part of the industry and then I also started adding some of my own sounds on top of those little coverings and then I realized that hey that you know I could do all this and I have the control that if I want to add drums I could just add drums if I knew how to do it and then I could add vocals I could sing them myself and I could add guitars pianos and all these melodies and I wouldn't need anyone to come on time to training to do that so I could just you know because um, you are quite good at the guitar. I'm terrible at guitar. He's but, not. But, but he has my is, guitars. <laughs> but but the thing is that like with the uh, with a computer and as a producer, you can basically um, output all of your ideas into into the computer, and you don't basically need anyone else to do anything for you. You don't need anyone else to come on time to trainings on Monday morning to play the guitar because you're the drummer. So you need other people as well to make music so um, with production you don't need anyone else except for yourself so so I just saw an opportunity there because I was getting sick and tired of always uh, you know having to wait for people to come to trainings and then wasting a lot of time and then and then the whole band dynamic wasn't what I wanted it to be so and then I just got more and more involved into producing and mixing and finally I just left the band and just concentrated on that and then fast forward five years I'm 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 here now doing it for a living. Miksä oot siin? Koita miettiä, onks sun taas tamotti? Tuut väkki aina uudestaan. Onks se täjä mun kaulassa? Koitat olla low-key, eikä halut rauhaa, sit sä halut sotii. Tuut 
bagi Aina uudestaan Onks se täällä mun kaulassa Mulla on iso puffer jacket vaikka se lokuu Sun tyyli icy et mun on pakko pukeutuu Nää sun silmistä et haluisit mulle avautuu Ja se on ok Mä oon täs sun luon I have a lurkkaa skiddy waist man thing Nää sun punapohjat ku se tanssit Louis Chanel Prada sulla on ne kaikki Sulla on ne kaikki Yeah Paljon mut mä hiljaa Jengi menee lankaan mut mä speedaan Pyynnäist junnus tullut pikkuhiljaa viisaas Kun on teitä painanu aamust iltaa Ollu pohjan liian kauan halun pintaan Nyt mulla on perfendi eikä fiilaa Kun astun kauppaan en kysy hintaa Mun koko life ei ollu yhtä kilpaa Elä fast life en muut Tien et ne mulkaa kun mä tuun Kuolan laulaa niin aukee suut Mut saa toivomaan, et täs tulis jotain suurt, baby Tien täs tulee jotain iso Yeah, I've been doing it for free for so long that, you know, now that I'm making um, a living doing this, it doesn't... Um, it's, it's just a bonus. The money that I get from this is just a bonus at this point. So, because um, I've always loved doing music in every form and this is just the current form that I'm doing it in and it probably will change in the future still, so... Um, I don't know what it's going to be in 10 years or 20 years. I might still be doing the same thing or, or I might be doing something else. But I know for a fact that it will always be something to do with music. Yeah, but, of course. Uh, but, yeah. Um, but yeah, so also it comes from a place where I want to bring something new into the Finnish music industry. Because um, there's only a handful of people that are doing all the stuff here. And because there aren't that many people doing all the stuff. Um, they all kind of start sounding somewhat the same at some point and because all the big labels are hiring the same people to mix and master all their songs and to, and to produce the majority of the songs so they all kind of end up having the same kind of footprint which is nice because everybody should have their own footprint but if, if there aren't that many people doing things that people actually listen to then then they all kind of like sound the same and I would like to think that I'm bringing something new into the industry and that maybe that's why I've been able to um, have a little bit of space or um, a little bit of a place yeah here well because there's a lot of room for it because it's always been kind of the same and also because it's social media and and uh, young people coming up and taking advantage of social media and the way that we can all make music now from our homes we don't need a big studio anymore with hundred thousand dollar console and people in their recording we can all do it from a bedroom now as long as we just have the will and time to do it and just a basic laptop, we can all do it. So that's why we're getting a lot more diversity in the music industry right now because of that. And and I think it's great. And there's a lot of space for new people. So I'm I'm just basically one of those new guys who, who is coming and there's space for all of us. Yeah, yeah. Oh, se, mikä on jäänyt epäselväksi, nyt tehdään selväksi. Okei. Okay. Ei mulla on visioit vaan näkemyksiä. Ei mulla on tietoa vaan käsityksiä. Välillä tää vauhti on saanut mut häkellyksiä. Niin paljon hälyy ympärillä silti kävelee yksi. Yeah, well, I have to say that there's always been criticism of, you know, if I go to any music video, you know, from the, the 80s especially, they all yeah. say, this was the era of mm. real music when there was real instruments and real artists. Yeah. And the current crop or whatever, they're not considered to be real music. Um, uh, that's, that's been going on forever. Yes, I mean, that's true. Just, because when you, were in the, who, yeah. Yeah, when you were in the 80s, they all sounded the same too. Yeah, exactly. And that was just a way to make music during those days. And now, yes. and 
and now it's all changing and I'll be like that when I'm 80 I'll say that this era was the best and this was the era of the real musicians and then yeah and then the people who are coming after me like 40 years after me then I'll say oh how you know because because the way that we make music has changed so much we can do everything from start to finish in a day on a laptop before you needed tens of people hundreds of people to work on your projects to record everything big studios really big budgets now you don't need a budget anymore to do anything well um the entrance barrier to get into music now has been it's very low it's so low it's very low yeah. so so whether that that's a good thing or a bad thing i mean when I, mean, I think about the the good old days when the studios made all the decisions and you know people often made fun of the fact that you know in the 50s 60s or 70s that those guys wearing the white shirts and mm. that had the glasses you know yeah. are making decisions but they 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 gave the green light to the beatles they gave the green light to many artists uh, you know the animals for example the mm. you know house of the rising sun for example the, mm. that that um, you know, would never have seen the light of day. The, those guys, even though they were considered to be stiff and so mm. forth, they, they made really great decisions. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah. And they put in some incredible artists out there and, and they took chances on, on many people. They, they, they had to judge which was going to go better or worse and so forth. So I wonder, are the studios then, are they uh, still giving, I don't know, the platform or to, to, to young artists or is it you know, just the established artists? Uh, well, of course, you have to stream and people have to kind of follow you. You have to have people who like your stuff in order for them to buy your stuff and your merchandise and so forth. But I think that in general, um, the big labels kind of, they have to bend the knee a little bit to us now because hmm. everybody can make music and... I could just be in my bedroom making really good stuff and having a lot of followers and I don't need a label to do anything for me and I could still make, you know, a very good career just out of my bedroom. And of course the labels want to have a piece of that, but because we no longer need them for anything, they have to bend the knee to us. Wow. If, if you're good enough. If... If you kind of need a lot of help as an artist and, and you need a big team around you, mm. then that's when... When if they see some kind of potential in you, but they also see that you, that you need a lot of help, that is a situation where you most likely are going to be ending up signing a bad deal because because they have the leverage, because they have the money, they have the people to support you and to give you the studios and give you the engineers to work on your stuff. I'm happy that because the entrance barrier has been lowered, that everyone can get a chance to get in. Because mm. that was one thing about... Um, trying to get in in those good old days was the traditional way you were going initially mm, mm. was trying to get into a band mm. and make your way in mm. and I think getting into a band that's very difficult with a band yeah and I think the the, the direction you have gone has been for you perfect yeah and, and the way that I've gone could also I think benefit a lot of people who are talented and willing to do a lot of work up front without getting paid. I think this is the way that you should do it if you really want to win in today's um, music. You should, you should um, increase your own value so that you have leverage before you sign a deal to a label because then you have something that they want and not the other way around. Because yeah. when, when you have something or when you don't have anything and you need something from them, they're in a position where they can give you a bad deal and because they have all the power because you don't have anything to give them. They're trying to make you into something. But if you've made yourself into something and you have people following you and you have a good thing going on already, the label is going to want to have a piece of, of you. So then you're going to be in a situation where you're like, okay, well, you want something from me. Then now we're going to be negotiating a deal, which is going to be a lot better for a guy who doesn't have anything. And you might even be able to get money up front just for signing. Usually... If you take money up front from a label before you sign, you're going to have to recoup that money and pay it back to them with your work when it comes to music. But some, sometimes if you're already doing so good for yourself without a label, they're going to give you money just for signing. And then on top of that, your percentages in the deal and, and all that stuff you know, is 
is going to be so much better for those guys who don't have anything up front. You know, you can still go up both ways, but I'd say if you have talent and if you're willing to do a lot of work, then then that would be the like the better way of doing it. Or then you could just be a freelance guy if you don't want to be an artist like me. Then you just work with the labels. You're on par with them. So you're just one company working with another company and then basically you're just peers. So did you kind of fall into this role? More or than I just fell into this role. So was yeah. it luck? Well, I think I put myself into a position where I was ready for the luck. Okay, so, that's good. So that's when really it, good. So when it came... Um, yeah, you need luck to come by, but if you don't have talent to then, you know, when luck comes by and they give you a project, if you're not good enough, then, you know, that luck really has no worth. But if luck comes by and then you kill that job, then, then, you know, I mean, how, how much, I mean, yeah, there's still a portion of luck involved, but you have to be ready for that luck to happen. Wow. That's, that's yeah. so right. That many people give up so early. Mm. And, and they, they, they get so discouraged hmm. so quickly and they don't realize that this is a, this is a long-term investment in your yeah. time and, and yeah. your effort. Yeah. Also, too, you have to admit that it also requires a great deal of cash because yeah. you've had to get the, the equipment. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. So the entrance barrier, I don't know, maybe we can say that it's just changed. Maybe it's not as easy as we, th we think it is. Because to get those clients, mm. those ones where the, the, the label is going to pay you mm. to look after someone, mm. you have to pay gazillions for the computer. Mm -hmm. um, I, I look at your studio. Mm. Uh, it's, yeah. it's a great studio. Oh, and, yeah. I'm very yeah. proud of my studio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I've, I've, I've had to put a lot of money up front in order for me to um, justify what I, um, how much I'm worth. Of course... You know, that's also because I've been putting so many hours into this stuff. But if there's a client who has um, been used to a certain type of quality from somewhere else and probably it's been through a label or something, I can't, you know, I can't give them something that's subpar to that. I got to give them something that's better or at least as good. So if I don't have the equipment and the stuff and the experience and the knowledge, so when the luck comes by, then if I screw it up because of that, then, then really that luck was for nothing, really. Okay, that's, yeah. wow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, uh, I'm going to leave it here because we could talk forever yeah. uh, about this. So we'll do a part two at some point. But anyway, thanks very much for coming. This was a fantastic talk. Yeah. Um, what I had to say to everyone that it's nice that he's agreed to be on the podcast because I don't get a chance to talk to him at all. He's so busy uh, with his work and, of course, his own life. So it was nice just to have the conversation with him about how he views himself professionally. Yeah. And to say quite an outstanding talk. So thanks very much there, young man. And we'll, we'll do this a part two. Yeah, sound good? Sure. Yes. Sounds okay, good, yeah. yeah. So see you guys later. <laughs> yeah, great. Yeah, fantastic. Wow. That was a great talk. Tän tuttui kasvoi, mut en tunne ketään Mun silmis vaan sinä En tiedä mikä sun puoleesi vetää Oot uskomaton, itseäni petä Jos lähen sun perä, et rakasta ketään Sun sydämme sisä, ei mahu ketään Muuta ku sinä, et taida tietää itsekään Mikä tekee sus nii itsekään Mä näen sun läpi vaikka haluiskaan Ja haluan sua aika, ei haluta haluiskaan Et taida tietää itsekään Mikä tekee sus nii itsekään Mä näen Vaikka ei haluiskaan ja haluun sua vaikka ei haluta haluiskaan En taida tietää itsekään mikä tekee musta niin itsekään Mä en halus jäädä tänne mut mä jäin tänne Ai säkin tääl viitosti hälinää Sä tulit tänne pelaamaan et jäbi tääl Ei tarvis ilman laseja et sen läpi nään Pakko tsiikaa sua samalla kun näin jes Mänit puhuu mun korvaani lätinää Mäkin pelaan peliä ku olis het setit Pelit tuoli ja jauhaisi pleikka chatissa nyt on jumis feikki friendien kaa Kaikki hyvin, kaikki hyvin type friendien kaa Liian kuulin näitten kiltävien kenkien kaa Mut lähiks on menee noitten kelmien kaa Kaikki tai jallu alkaa hitaa, en pysty seistäkään Pitäs alkaa vesittämää Miks me pelataan vaik tietää molemmat etut meiltä Enää turha alkaa esittämään Sanot mulle et on pois ja totta